upon ratio and introduction. You will find this on page 177 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at the introduction. A ratio shows how much of one thing there is compared to another thing. For example, there are six apples and there are two pears. There are six apples and two pears. So six divided by two is three. There are three times as many apples as pear. We can also say that the number of apples is three times the number of pears. Conversely, compare the number of pears with the number of apples. So two divide six, so two over six is a third. The number of pears is a third of the number of apples. Ratios can be shown in different ways. Different ways of writing ratios. Okay, using the double point to separate the values. So apples to pairs, it's six to two, and it can be simplified to three to one. But pairs to apples is two to six, or it can be simplified to be one to three. Using the word two, you can also say instead of the double point, six to two, or three to one. Two to six or one to three. Writing it like a fraction, you can also express it as a fraction. So six over two or three over one, that's apples to pears. Then pears to apples will be two over six and it can be simplified to one over three. The trick with ratio is always to multiply or divide the numbers by the same value to keep the ratio the same. This is very, very important. So multiply or divide the numbers by the same value to keep the ratio. So it can only be multiplied or divided by the same number, not add or subtract. A ratio is used to compare two or more quantities of the same kind, which are measured in the same unit. It is given in the simplest form. So very important also, it must be measured in the same unit. We'll come back to that. Okay, let's look at an example. Example one. There are 14 boys and 16 girls in a class. Find the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls. The number of girls to the total number of students. Okay, so if I say ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls. So what is the boys? 14. What is the girls? 16. Now look for a number that I can simplify this ratio. I can divide by 2. Now remember, if I divide by 2 with this first number, I must also divide by 2 the second number. So I will get 7 to 8. Okay. If I ask you, this is part to part ratio. So if I ratio of number of girls to the total number of students, so the girls is 16, the total will be 14 plus 16, which is 30. So if I divide by 2, on this side, and I divide by 2 on this side, I'm again simplifying the ratio, I get 8 to 15. Then we call this part to whole, because it's the part, the girl's part, to the total, which is representing the whole. And remember, if I divide one side by 2, I must also divide the other side by 2. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, try now one. Number A and number B. As soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's look at try now one. Okay, a, a bag consists of 25 black balls and 20 white balls. Okay, the number of black balls, now it, it's always good that you first um, write it out. So it's black balls. We can already make the double point. Two uh, to the number of white balls. Now, the number of black balls will be 25. The number of white balls will be 20. And now, I'm going to start simplifying. I'm looking for a number just like in fractions that can divide by 25 that can also divide by um, into 20. So 5 can divide into 25 and 
5 can again divide into 20. That will bring me to an answer of 5 to 4. And that will be the simplest form. And if I look at number B, the number of black balls, so again, let's just write it out. Black balls to the total number. Okay, the black balls stay the same. It will be 25. And the total number will be the 25 plus the 20, which will be 45. And again, I'm going to search for something that will divide into both numbers. And it, it will be get, again B5. And my final answer will be 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. And that will be my simplest ratio. Okay, let's just read through this note. Uh, 14 to 6 or 7 to 8 are known as equivalent ratios. So before it simplify, um, if you look, you will see I can divide by 2 to get 7. I can divide by 2 um, to get 8. Okay, the simplest form is 7 to 8. I think here must just be, let's just write it in. It must be 14 to 16. There must be a 16. Okay, so if I divide by 2, I'll get 7. If I divide by 2, I get 8. So the simplest form is 7 to 8. We can obtain equivalent ratios by multiplying or dividing both parts by the same constant. Okay.